Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Natasha Denona mini bronze palette. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so if you are familiar with my channel, you know I love Natasha Denona. I pick up almost every single thing she releases, especially eyeshadows. This one was one that I almost didn't pick up just because I know the shades appear a little bit redundant. We've all got these warm browns in our collections, especially if we own the midi bronze. But I had to do it. So it just comes in a cute little box like this, just like all of her other minis. And then the packaging, package itself looks like this, so exact same format as her other minis. And just the back is a beautiful bronze. It almost perfectly matches the midi bronze. So this retails for 27 US dollars or 33 Canadian. So she has increased her prices by about $2 across the board. Um, this is made in Italy and has a 24 month shelf life, which is consistent with the rest of her mini palettes. So this one is a little different in that it contains four mattes and one shimmer. I, I know the one shimmer has been a little bit polarizing. Some people wish there was more shimmers and some are perfectly content with the four mattes. I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm kind of content with the four mattes. Maybe if there was one more shimmer, maybe because I feel like these two on the end here might be a little bit redundant. They don't look exactly the same in the pan, but they could look pretty similar when we put them on. So we'll talk about that. There are four new shades in here, except for Flesh, which is actually in the Star Palette. I don't have the Star Palette, so that, that one is new to my collection. So let's just get into putting this on the eyes and then we'll do swatches at the end. Normally I do swatches somewhere in the beginning, but I feel like I want to create a look. Okay, so all of my makeup is on except for eyeshadow, and I just went ahead and primed with my Milani eyeshadow primer and then set it down with a little bit of powder, same as I always do. Uh, I was kind of tempted to set with flesh, but I think it's gonna be just a little bit too deep for that purpose. So let's just start by using it as a transition shade. This flush shade is actually turning out to have much more brown to it than I expected, so I'm kind of kind of impressed by that. But I do feel like there's probably a lot of reviews up already, and I feel like a lot of the looks created are going to look very similar because I think with a palette like this, you're going to be very limited to the looks you can create. Much like the midi bronze because that's the one complaint that I've had about that palette and that I've heard a lot of people have about that one is that you're you're very limited. A lot of the looks look the same. That's why I'm almost thinking this mini version might be a better value because yes, the look is always going to come out the same, but if you buy the midi, they kind of just look the same anyway. That's just my opinion though. Um I of course have both, but I like to own both in my collection. So far I really like flesh, especially as a transition, and it is quite buildable as well. I'm definitely able to build it up to get a little bit more pigment. Next I'm going to go into Gobi, and I'm going to do, and I'm just going to add that in, kind of deepen the crease. This one definitely pulls much more orange. And these shades are just, they're not new, they're not going to be revolutionary shades. We've all got warm browns in our collection for the most part. I, I think most of us do. That being said, her formula is wonderful. So far these are performing just like any of Natasha's other shadows. They're super pigmented, they're blending really really nicely, so I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to stick with the same brush and I'm going to go into the shade Tough. So this looks in the pan like it's definitely got, yeah, this is definitely that burnt orange kind of a shade. I think this mini, much like the midi, but this mini is going to be really, really pretty for fall. So I think she did pick a good time to release this one, because I think a look like this is going to be so beautiful in the fall months. I'm going to be craving a look like this. And what I like about her minis as well, I'm just going to take a larger brush and just kind of on those edges a little bit. One thing I love about her minis is that they make it so easy to put a look together. 
I mean, sometimes I'm just not feeling the most creative and I just kind of want the palette to tell me what to do. And I won't make a bond, but I don't want to have to think too much. I feel like her minis can really, really do that sometimes. Okay, so that is like a really, really pretty bronzy kind of a burnt orange fall. I'm getting all the fall vibes right now. And then I just want to go into Russet again to just really deepen that outer corner. I don't feel like I'm going to get too, too much depth with this. That's one thing I'm noticing right away. And I'm still just sticking with the same brush. That really didn't add too much. That definitely has much more of a richer undertone to it. It's got more of that chocolatey undertone and less of that burnt orange kind of a look but it's still really nice it's definitely not as deep as I thought it was going to be so I don't think that there is a ton of range with this one I just don't I don't know I feel like we're not gonna get much depth out of this so if you're somebody who really likes to get in there and smoke out your eyeshadow a little bit this may not be your favorite so I'm noticing I don't love a super blown out eye on me personally and I don't I don't ever take it really smoky. That's just not my preference. I think it just always looks way too harsh on me. But if you're into that, then this might not be your favorite mini palette. And now I'm gonna take bronze foil on a finger, as I always do. This definitely feels very buttery, very smooth, very um, almost wet. And it's a really pretty bronze. None of the shades between this one and the bronze, the full size bronze, are exact dupes. Again, these are supposed to be new shades, but I feel like we might be able to get it pretty close. I know not everybody wants to spend the money to buy the mini if they already have the midi, and that is completely fair. This bronze foil is very, very beautiful. I I am sure you could do this one with a brush, especially a wet brush. I just prefer to do these more metallics with a finger and I know Natasha's shadows tend to just perform the best that way. I really do like this look though. I feel really pretty. This is definitely a look I would wear daily. So I really, really like this. Okay, let me pop off camera, pop on some mascara, and then I will come back and we will talk about swatches and my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so let's look at some swatches really quickly. So the shade on the bottom here is the shade Russet, which is described as a matte, warm, dark brown, and this is in her creamy matte formula. Then we have Flesh, which is a matte beige nude, which is also a creamy matte. They're actually all creamy matte except for the metallics. Okay, and then Gobi is a matte medium tangerine brown. Then we have bronze foil which is a metallic coppery bronze and it is really beautiful i have to say i love the way it looks on the lids and then finally we have tough which is a matte medium terracotta which is the shade that i described more as that burnt orange okay so the palettes that i thought to pull out before we actually look at the midi bronze i did take a look at the mini sunset palette because the shade uh, Guava is almost similar to Flesh, but not quite. It's definitely, it's got a bit more warmth to it. The darker browns also didn't really match up very well. So these are pretty different as well. Although with this one, you do get two more shimmers than the bronze. This is not my favorite mini. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not the easiest color story for me to work with, with this kind of shimmery red over here. I did pull Mini Metropolis as well because I thought the shade Corrode might be kind of similar but Flesh has again a little bit more warmth to it so those weren't overly similar and then the browns just didn't really compete and then the shimmers were also quite different with this shimmer being much more on the gold side. But the one that was probably the most similar of all the ones that I was looking at was Mini Nude and mini bronze so they definitely do have some similarities obviously mini nude has two more shimmers the shade soil looked quite a bit similar to russet this one's probably a bit deeper it has a slightly bit more depth to it and then the shade from the nude palette coin i think falls more in the middle yeah the shade Coin is actually very close to Flesh from uh, the bronze, so that is pretty close. These two are pretty close, actually. 
I'm kind of surprised. And then I wanted to compare the shade Bronze Edge from Mini Nude and okay those are very similar. Very very similar. This one might be a little bit lighter but in my lighting they're looking super super similar. So we have three very similar shades in Mini Nude. So if you have Mini Nude this might not be worth it for you. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how similar those look. So, so far the Mini Nude is definitely the most similar, but let's compare directly to the Midi Bronze. And what strikes me is that she really described the Mini Bronze to be more of an extension of this one, and I believe that to be true. I can definitely see that. And sometimes when Natasha creates her minis, they are, uh, sometimes they're like a distant family member and then sometimes they're literally like an extension or a little sister in my opinion and in this case it's definitely like a little sister. So the shade Gobi in the mini bronze, that mini shade right here, is reminding me most of Beach from the bronze palette. I would say Beach from bronze is probably the most similar or Sundown is also pretty similar. I would say a mix of these two would make Gobi. Um, there really isn't a dupe for flesh. Okay, so excuse the mess on my hand. It will make sense in a second. So this is all the mini bronze. This is the shade Magma from the midi bronze. So it's going to be the shade right here. This top shade really isn't really a dupe. This is Suntan from the Full Size Bronze. It's it's not a dupe for dupe. Again, I don't have a dupe for flesh. I do have two similar shades to Gobi. And then looking at True Bronze, I have Palladium here, which was a little bit different, but then when I looked at Silk, Silk is probably the most similar. It's a little bit lighter and brighter, but I would say Silk from the Midi Bronze is more similar to true bronze. Again, they're not shade for shade dupes. Are you going to be able to create pretty much the exact same look? Yeah, pretty much. I was playing with the bronze palette on the weekend and actually in my most recent video, my best drugstore makeup video, I was wearing the midi bronze and I feel like it's pretty much the exact same look I have on right now. That being said, so do I think that you need both? Are they shade for shade dupes? No, but they're so similar that you're gonna be able to create the exact same look. You do obviously get a little bit more range um, with the midi bronze than you're going to with the mini, but at the same time, all of the looks I create with this end up looking somewhat similar unless I throw in some of those darker shades, which I never ever do. This, however, you're, it's going to be pretty much the same look every time, but if it's going to be the same regardless, this might be a better value for you. If you're somebody who's wanted to pick up the bronze palette, I would say the mini might be more worth it just because it's a much lower price point and regardless of which palette you grab, your looks are probably going to look similar. Um, again, you get those darker shades in the bronze, but I personally don't use those. So, but if you really, really want those, then yeah, the midi is going to be a better value. So overall, the quality in this one is her typical top-notch eyeshadow formula. I absolutely, I just love her formula. I kind of do like this more than the midi bronze, simply because the looks always come out the same. This one's cuter and more compact, um, and it takes a lot of the thinking out of it for me. So I kind of do really, really enjoy this. I do not think you need both unless you just want both, in which case. But if you're somebody who wants either or, I would say go with this one. Again, this is not unique. Most of us probably have these shades in our collection, but if you really want them from Natasha, maybe this is a great option. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. No, it's not revolutionary. Yes, it's a little more on the boring side, but as somebody who absolutely not loves neutrals, and I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of enjoyment and use out of this. Again, if you do have the mini nude, you probably don't need the mini bronze. I would still recommend the mini nude over the bronze just because you do get more shimmer so you can create a little bit more range. The mini bronze, while it is very beautiful, I 
did use all of the mattes today, but I really didn't need to. I could have easily just got in with flesh, maybe deepened up with this one and then thrown this one on there or just stopped after this one. Or maybe I could have skipped flesh altogether. I really didn't need to use all of them. I just wanted to really demonstrate the palette. Whereas this one, you know, you could easily just go in with coin, deepen it up with soil and then throw a shimmer on and be done. The quality of both is really, really great, but if you're looking for a little bit more range, I would go with mini nude as opposed to mini bronze, but I do think the bronze is beautiful. So overall, I think it's a beautiful mini palette. I think it's a nice addition. I do think it's a great extension to her larger size, and I think it's a great little palette for somebody who wants to try her formula or who has been eyeing up the midi palette but didn't want to pay that price point. I think this is a great way to get the experience of the midi without paying the $65 or $87 if you're in Canada. I think that's a really great way to get that experience. So I definitely recommend the mini bronze over the midi. So I'm very pleased about that. But that is it for me today. Let me know down below if you're thinking of picking this one up. I hope this video was helpful if you were on the fence. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that's it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!